Hello, this is StyleCon coming at you today from an unusual place. I'm in my bathroom taking a crap. You ask me why? Style? That's not real stylish. This is for a particular reason because our state government has me a little pissed off. First thing is, this is the only room I can smoke in my house that has nice ventilation. The smoke goes right out. You'll never know that I was smoking a cigar if you came in here. Reason number one. Reason number two being, I think the government is taking a big shit on us right now. Those that are here in Pennsylvania, they're trying to uh, change some of these laws to increase our taxes. Uh, cigars, 40% increase in taxes. Insane. I'm not saying not to add some tax to cigars, but can we start off at 5%, 10%? 15%, 20%, you know, why do we have to start off at 40? First of all, most of the cigar shops in the Harrisburg area are pretty much mom and pop. You know, they're just little business guys that own these places. Now, whatever happened to helping out the little business guy? Now, I like to smoke a cigar because it relaxes me. And especially at the current time, what I'm doing, I need all the relaxation that I can get. This one was a little hard one to push out. On that note, it's not just about cigars. We're talking about raising our sales tax from 6% to 7%. Uh, forget there's another tax that they're talking about, you know, either uh, in increasing or they're going to establish a new tax. And so we don't have to pay uh, property tax any longer. Now, my problem comes in with this. We have a governor by the name of Ed Rendell. When he was running, he said that he wanted to start casinos in this state. And once they were established and they started making money, there would be no property tax on anyone. Guess what happened? Guess what? Simple. It never changed. We still have property tax. The money that's been generated from these casinos have been given back to the townships, municipalities. They say, hey, look, they write in, we need some new trucks, okay? We need this roadway paved. Uh, we need to put new lights in. Great, but I thought that's what our taxes were for, that we pay our cities, our townships, you know, the state. But needless to say, that didn't happen. And the thing that bothers me is if you're going to raise our taxes, do what you said you're going to do with the money. You know, don't hoodwink me and say, okay, you know what, if we raise these taxes, you have no property tax. The other thing, I did vote for Governor Wolf right now, and I'm regretting that. He ran on the platform that he was going to raise taxes on uh, natural gas drillers in this state. Most of the other states that surround us and throughout the country, they tax those particular groups of people. Fine, he said, we'll make up the money by doing that. Now you're telling me once you're in office that you're not just going to tax them, but you're going to tax the middle of the road people. Now, the forefathers of this country would probably be shitting over in their grave right now. And the reason why I say this is because this is turning into taxation without representation. I didn't vote for Tom Wolf so he could raise my cigar tax, raise the state tax, and raise whatever tax he wants. Now, my thing is tomorrow, whatever these taxes are going to be raised to, I can't go into the company I work for and say, hey, you know what? They're raising my cigars up 40%. I need a 40% raise. You know what? So I can cover my cost of living. I, I like, I enjoy the cigar, and I know a cigar is a hobby. It's not something I need to have. But this is what I like, and this is what I enjoy. So now you're telling me, hey, look, you want to enjoy, you're going to have to pay a lot more money for it. Now, I can see taxing it, but let's slow to pump the brakes a little bit let's do a five percent ten percent because you're only going to hurt two people and the big people you're going to hurt are the small business owners throughout pennsylvania that have cigar shops you know you got people like with me if you raise the tax 40 percent, guess what i'm going to do i'm going to either cut back on my cigars or i'm going to give it up all together so where's your tax money coming in at then once i say i smoke a cigar a day and i say i'm going to smoke only one uh, every other day or I say hey look I'm just gonna smoke on the weekend how about if I say I'm not gonna smoke at all so where's the money coming from and the other big thing is just like with me if I have some money problems I have to tighten my belt 
I have to sit there and say, hey, guess what? My electric bill is $300 this month because in this state, they changed the rules. You know, in my last year, when I was with a different company, it was $200. Now it's going up 100 You know what I have to do? I'll cut back on maybe traveling someplace. I don't buy as much at the grocery store. You know, I cut back. So the government, if anybody out there is listening to this video in state government, why don't you do the same thing the average American has to do? Cut back if you can't afford it. Once again, this is StyleCon coming at you from the shitter today because that's the way I feel. I'm taking it up the shitter. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I do plan on making more content for the near future, but most of it won't be for my bathroom. Sorry, enjoying one of my favorite cigars because if this tax does go into play, I'm cutting back and maybe cut it out altogether. So don't hurt the little guy out there. And as usual, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video, and I'll see you in the next one.